So the coldest air of the season is en route to Ohio and you'll notice it by Thursday. Your 7 a.m. service map looks like this. We have a cold front located far out here to the Midwestern U.S. Behind this front, well ahead of it, you can see this little swath of snow. That's where the leading edge of the cold air is. Behind it, you note those temperatures dropping off rapidly and much colder than what they are ahead of that frontal system as it makes its way towards the Ohio Valley. Down to the south and southern Ohio, as we take a look at the closer map in Ohio, you can see a mixture of precipitation across southwest Ohio. Some scattered snow here and there could be up to one or two inches, 50 miles either side of this I-70 corridor during the day on Tuesday. But uh, that's going to set up the stage for much colder conditions. Once that front makes its way through Ohio, northeast Ohio, traditional lake effect areas, you're going to see Lake Erie rear its ugly head once again. And I would say don't be surprised if easily a foot of snow falls during the weekend once again in those lake effect areas of northeast Ohio into Pennsylvania and especially New York. Travelers forecast for the day Wednesday looks like this. Well, it's going to cool off. It's going to be a progressive thing. It's not going to happen all at one time, although there's a sharp contrast behind that front. Uh, Northwest Ohio will be the coldest daytime highs into the upper teens for daytime highs up there. But down here along the Ohio River, still hanging on to a little bit of hope. Daytime highs in the middle 30s. Most locations will have partly to most of cloudy skies throughout the day. And again, as I said, this cold will come in waves. Uh, but that main front located out there in Illinois as of Tuesday morning will be what ushers in the coldest air. And speaking of the coldest air, without further ado, I present to you the coldest day of the season. Now what you probably noticed on that five day forecast besides the daytime high in the middle teens on Thursday is that we warm back up towards Saturday with a mixture of precipitation. Doesn't mean it's going to stay that way because I would say fasten your seat belts if you're on a roller coaster because folks, the fun has just begun and it looks like we're going to have a really wild second half of December. <laughs> 